This module will give you a basic understanding of the data collection methods used in educational research. It will also help you decide which data collection methods to use for your own dissertation. A vital aspect of your dissertation is your research methodology, and this will be dictated by your research proposal. For example, if you are trying to gain an understanding of other people's point of view for a culture study, you may use ethnography as your research methodology. However, if you are looking to improve your own practice in a work context, then you may need to use action research as your methodology. Once you have decided on your methodology, you will then need to determine which data collection methods would be best suited for your research. The data collection methods fall into two categories, primary sources and secondary sources. Primary sources are original sources collected by the researcher that have never previously been collected. This data is collected first-hand using various methods. A secondary source is data that has been previously collected by someone else for a different purpose. It consists of both published and unpublished data. The advantage of using secondary sources is that they are readily available and do not need to be collected again. However, it may not meet your specific research needs. The focus in this module will be on the collection of data from primary sources through qualitative and quantitative methods. The next video provides a brief introduction to quantitative and qualitative research. This will be your first step towards helping you choose the best method for your dissertation.